Jesus, good morning. All right, I hope you guys are doing pretty well. Um, <clears throat> I thought I wanted to come out. I'm going to let it. I'm going to let it just be. <laughs> um, all right, so let's see your current energy right now. What's going on with you? Um, what's happening, y'all? You know what, let's start with these guys. Let's not get over encumbered. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, King of Swords in reverse. Tells me, um, one, you might struggle to like, um, assert yourself in a situation. Um. <clears throat> It also tells me that you're kind of like, you don't want to feel super defensive. You don't want to feel on guard. You, you like feeling just comfortable, right? Three of Wands in reverse, that's typically like a third party situation or like a um, love triangle or whatever. But I feel like the complication involved with that is, um, is going away. You know, like um, I feel this energy of like that third party kind of dissipating um we'll kind of go back into that it could be also like um you had feelings for somebody but you were with somebody else or somebody else was with somebody else and you had feelings for them you know love triangle um ten of wands in reverse i do see um in your future that you will be letting something off your chest right releasing the burden um and also ending a cycle by doing so, right? By, like, whatever this burden is. I mean, look, his his wands are just all on his chest, right? And that's, you know, so that's a really good indication that you're, you're letting something off your chest here. <clears throat> so, let's clarify these bad boys. That guy wanted to come out. Aha! Uh -huh. King of Wands. So, you... From King of Swords, right? We're leaving that energy and going straight into King of Wands. You could be a fire sign um, because there are so many wands here. Um, <clears throat> and wands are all fire energy, right? Um, <laughs> this is you speaking your truth. This is being very motivated, very driven. Um, this is living your truth. Like, I mean, wands is all about honesty, really. Um... And I feel like in regards to letting something off of your chest, that's really where this is, you know? Um, alright, so, three of wands in reverse. Let's talk about that. Okay. <laughs> Eight of swords in reverse. I do see this energy of you um, taking off the blindfold and really seeing a situation for what it is. Um, this feeling, this stuck feeling, that was kind of a feeling of your own creation, you know, like, she's not actually stuck. She's not actually bound in a way that she can't get out of it. I mean, look at all these swords around her, you know, using, using that deduction, it's like, this is like a prison of her own creation, almost like a self-defense mechanism, right? If I can't see it, if I can't hear it, if I can't move towards it, then it ain't real, right? Well... That showed up in the reverse, so looks like it might be more real than you um, were trying to make it be. <laughs> but with the Ten of Wands in reverse here, the getting something off of your chest just really puts you in that King of Pentacles energy of having something worth holding on to, something more valuable than money to you. Um got a lot of kings i see that divine masculine emperor energy okay we got an emperor showing up he, he's at the party <laughs> everybody's dancing at the party but ramses does not dance he does not dance at the party <laughs> okay I, you guys have to go watch nacho leave right now such a fucking good movie but um yeah dude quit being such a ramses <laughs> 
And don't mind me, okay? I'm really good at masking when I'm sick, but sometimes it shows up, okay? I'm like, if I, if I look good, then they ain't gonna know. I wish. Um, okay, so, let's see. Gangsta, what up? Oh, yeah, yeah. It reminds me of this line that Ronnie Radke did. He was in the band Escape the Fate, and then he uh, went into Falling in Reverse. And when he was in Falling in Reverse, he said uh, in a song, I think it's called um, I'm Not a Vampire or something. But, um, but uh, yeah, basically in, in that song, he's like, I'm learning that, um, even I can, or fate is something you can't escape, or I'm learning that fate is something that I can't escape. Whatever. You know the, what I'm saying here, though. You can't escape the fate, okay? Ronnie Radke had to learn. You got to learn, right? And you know what's great about the Ace of Wands is you had the Ten of Wands in reverse, right? So you're leaving an old cycle. You're going into a passionate new beginning here. Um, I like this. I like it, okay? <laughs> it's good energy. It's like finally, like, having the fucking huevos to, like, to be real about what you want. Um, to feel worthy of what you want. To, um, have doors just kind of open up for you. Because I feel like... I feel like you've been quite honorable in this situation, you know, with the third party situation. Um, it's like you definitely put yourself in your own prison during that time when it was like, oh, I can't do this. There's no way. Um, you put yourself in your own prison, but I see you kind of escaping that prison of your own creation here, you know. And I, I feel like this also could be, you know... What is this third party situation? I want to know. I kind of want to... You know what? That's the past, isn't it? That's the past. Look, we fuck the past. We about the future. What are we doing? Why does this wand look like such a penis? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like looking at it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, I mean, I know like... I know it's supposed to be a phallus, but like... Damn, it's like such a phallus. <laughs> they didn't even try to hide it. Um, the Hermit in reverse. Okay, um, Virgo energy. So, especially with that King of Pentacles, that could be somebody in the mix here. Um, both the Hermit in reverse, one, you could be releasing a Virgo, or two, you could be climbing out of your shell and pursuing what you want to pursue. Take it and go, you know? <laughs> you are a silly banana. Um, you know, I feel like you're a man, right? And I normally don't say that with masculines. I'm like, masculines can be a woman. But I'm hella seeing this penis, guys. Okay, I'm hella seeing this penis. Or you're a cross watcher for a man that you're dealing with, right? Uh, so cross watchers, welcome. But also, I feel like this is... This is, I'm reading for a, a, a guy. <laughs> <coughs> I am releasing the demons right now. Don't mind my coughs. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. What do you need to know? What are you pursuing? There's all this about the pursuit. What are you pursuing? That's what I want to know. <laughs> it's my business now, okay? <laughs> I am paying attention. Ah. Okay, I need more than that. <laughs> You've got to be seeking more than attention. <laughs> That's kind of what it was saying. <laughs> um, okay, so... Uh -huh. Okay. 
Okay, with the Knight of Wands, I see that you're very guarded. Alright? I see that you're very guarded against... It's it's just this energy, right? It's like, there's so many fucking wands, right? We got 9, 10. <laughs> we got all these wands. You're definitely... I feel like you're a fire sign. A fiery masculine. Got a penis in your hand. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop saying it. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Nine of Wands <laughs> tells me you're very guarded. You feel like you've been through a fucking lot, right? Um, <laughs> you, with the temperance in reverse, though, you're also a little impatient. Uh, like, you're kind of like you want instant gratification a little bit. Like, you feel like I've been waiting. Um, okay, 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 okay. What are you waiting for? <laughs> it's just telling me your insecurity. It's not really telling me what you're pursuing. Um, I want to know what you're pursuing. I want to know what this is, what your fulfillment is. What's your wish fulfillment, right? What's that look like? Because this could be a job, a person, a moving, anything. What is it? Could be a Scorpio <laughs> um, with the death card showing up. You're pursuing the ending of a cycle. That's the biggest thing here. It's like, how do you go about that, right? How do you go about that? Okay. What else? Tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more. Ah, there we go. There we go. Um, for once, you have like this fantasy, <laughs> right? You have this idea in your head of like this perfect kind of situation, right? Um, you got your castle, you got your partner, you got your wands. So many fucking wands. Um, you're, uh, you know, this is kind of what you're pursuing, right? Like that happily ever after type of deal. The Queen of Pentacles, divine counterpart to the King of Pentacles, tells me that um, somebody has kind of maybe let go of this idea or maybe they... Let's clarify that. We'll clarify it. Um, haha, I knew it. The sun card shows up. Heavy Leo energy. Is this a Leo reading? I feel like this might be a Leo reading with all these goddamn wands. <laughs> this is inevitable happiness. Inevitable prosperity. Inevitable joy, right? I'm gonna put that sun card right in the middle because that's really you. This is a Leo reading, <laughs> apparently. Um, so, I guess you guys skipped the fucking line. <laughs> like you do. <laughs> you guys are like, um, no, I'm not waiting on a reading, actually. I'm just going to bombard you with my energy. So you have to read me. <laughs> I love it. I love Leo's. Okay. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, let's clarify them. Who are they? The object of your affection. Three of Cups, this is somebody who has been your friend, right? Um, goes back to that Three of Wands, though, where there could have been, like, this could have been a friend that was in a relationship, or you could have been one in a relationship, or they could have, you know, whatever. But I do feel that energy of three showing up pretty fucking prominently. Um, all right, gangsta. Um, they're like kind of in this mode of celebration too, I would say. I would say that like this is somebody who's just kind of like embracing life, not holding on to, um, things that don't serve them, you know, with that Queen of Pentacles in reverse. It's like they're releasing, they're releasing the old. I feel like they're also in this energy of, you know, ending cycles and starting anew, right? A new new. Um, so, who 
for a let's, let's learn a little bit about your person, okay? Let's let's see. Who is it? Da, 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 da. Hermit in reverse. This could be a Virgo. Let's see. Six of Cups. This could be somebody who has a child. <laughs> uh, strong maternal in energy here. Or this is somebody who makes you feel like a child. It reminds me of that Devendra Van Hart song. I feel just like a child. Um, but yeah, dude. It's like this energy of... It's very sweet. Very innocent. Um, well, not innocent like... Like, I would just say, like, they have childlike wonder, right? This is somebody who's curious about life. Somebody who, who like, makes you feel good because you just, you love that energy of being able to just have fun and enjoy life. It's not so much fucking grown-up thinking and whatever. King of Cups. Bro, you have shown up as every king. <laughs> the only thing missing here is the emperor. The emperor. Okay, you are all the kings. Um, and you're in love, bro. You're in love. <laughs> um, man, that's cute as fuck. I like that. Okay, my boy's in love. Um, <laughs> all right, King of Cups. You're just smitten, aren't you? There's like something about this energy. You're like, they make you feel like a kid again. You feel like. You feel like you can trust them, too. Like, friendships like this, that's somebody that you feel like you can trust. Somebody that you feel like you've connected with. Somebody you like celebrating with. Um, it's like, I love that energy. Because it, it's like you're just seeing them from, like, the most wholesome perspective. You know, there's not, like, a whole lot of sexual energy or debauchery or, like, anything, like, gross or narcissistic. This is, like, pure, like, pure love. Real love, you know? Talking about that real love. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> okay, don't mind me being an oddball. I will always be that. Um, so, do, 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 do. I have to listen to that song. Real love. Who? Wheel of fortune is in your life. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have it. Da, da, da. As your wife. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude. I'm like... I, I'm sorry. The full moon in Libra has brought out the fucking biggest goofball out of me. I'm sorry. Um, I, I have no explanation for my goofiness, actually. <laughs> You're gonna be quite fortunate, though. Shit's turning around for you. It's like... Like, embracing the unknown a little bit. Like going into those unknown territory but you're like a little excited about it but you're also scared and you're like and you got your penis in your hand <laughs> i'm sorry okay i'll shut up oh <laughs> but, uh yeah dude i don't know i just can't unsee it and now every time i look at that card it's like that's all i'm gonna see that's literally all i'm gonna see <laughs> So, <laughs> dude, you probably fantasize about this person, um, you probably do, like, in a sexual way, but I don't see it as, like, being gross about it, right? It's, like, like, you see them as, like, your wife, <laughs> you know, like, this is, this is where you you want to stick it, you know, <laughs> I guess, but not in, like, a gross way, it's like, you, you want to have a whole fucking life with them, they bring out every king in you, <clears throat> they bring out every king in you, they make you feel passionate, alive, motivated, driven, they, like, they open shit up for you, <laughs> you know, and things that you're like, ah, what is this feeling, right, and what's funny is the, the queen of pentacles <laughs> and the king of wands, are kind of looking at each other <laughs> here uh, from my perspective. And that's kind of cute. I'm going to put them right there so you can look at her. Okay. <laughs> you can look at your girl. Um. Alright, so. And then also, 
King of Pentacles, this is somebody who makes you want to strive for more. Somebody who really makes you want to show up as your best self um, in your best energy. But the King of Cups, this is somebody who really makes you feel like emotionally mature and full of trust and a, like emotional abundance, right? Um, I really like this energy. How do they feel about you? <laughs> in this moment... You know, whatever, because like, I mean, you are, or the Queen of Pentacles looks like, or the Queen of Pentacles in reverse looks like she's releasing a lot right now. You know, she's in the energy of letting go of a lot and just kind of focusing on important shit, you know, <laughs> important shit. Uh, so, let's see it. <laughs> the justice in reverse you feel like you've been kind of stuck in an unfair situation with this because you haven't been able to pursue it i'm assuming um with the ace of swords shit's turning around it's like this is you kind of like grabbing your crown grabbing your sword and being like this is who i am and this is what i want and this is what's meant for me right bam <laughs> um got a lot of aces here too so that's all about new beginnings um <laughs> what's unfair let's see let's clarify this justice in reverse gonna be stuck in my head forever now real love Ooh, i'm searching for that real love okay i'll shut up <laughs> no i won't <laughs> i will not okay knight of cups in reverse yeah okay here's the injustice no you haven't pursued it <laughs> you feel like something's been kind of like in the way of that what's been in the way what's been in the way of you pursuing that you <laughs> knight of pentacles the only knight in the whole deck that isn't moving right he's got this offer in his hand he's like okay i'm really gonna do it now i've got the whole thing it's right here i'm just gonna get on my horse and then we're gonna sit here <laughs> until I have the balls to do it. Okay, it's like, and then you never go through with it, right? That's the injustice here. <laughs> you never go through with it. You just sit there with the offer in your hand, just like, maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't. <laughs> All right, will you do it? <laughs> That's a good question, right? Let's find out, will you do it? <laughs> tell you why you haven't done it why you haven't moved forward right chariot in reverse um you haven't moved forward because you don't want conflict right you don't want conflict with this magician magicians are very secretive magicians make you see what they want you to see um not what actually is right um, slide a hand, that kind of thing. Right hand never knows what the left hand's doing. That magician has been making you perceive things differently, and you don't want you don't want conflict with them. Um, you're you're afraid, like if you move forward, that that's gonna happen. <clears throat> if 
Is that gonna happen? Let's find out. Is that gonna happen? the beginning of a love cycle this is also loving oneself right so got a lot of aces man one two three you know one 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 <laughs> um <clears throat> and basically well actually you have one 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 if we count the magician which is the first of the major arcana well te technically the full card is but the full card is zero it's not one <laughs> so that's decision to go you know whatever but um ace of cups tells me um you are you're you're filling a cup man you're accepting a cup somebody's accepting a cup right there's an offer that was once rejected that is not going to be rejected right if it's in the upright hell of rejection since it's in the reverse, hella not being rejected, okay? Um, Six of Swords, I feel like, dude, it's that third party energy. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles, you know, they're your friend, but I feel like they're leaving a relationship. I feel like they are because I see this woman and her child, and we do see a woman and a child here leaving a situation. Um, Very guarded. Look, all these swords here, you know? Um, so I do see, this is somebody, I feel like they're closing out a cycle and that's why you haven't pursued it. That's why you were afraid of this conflict because you're like, I can't fuck with her magician. Like, I ain't gonna fight. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, so she walks away. You get all up in your head. You're like, I can't stop dreaming about this bitch. I can't stop thinking about this bitch. I don't want to close her out of my world, right? But you're also closing out the rest of the world because you can't stop fucking thinking about this bitch, right? <laughs> um, I shouldn't call her bitch. I'm sorry. I called your lady a bitch. <laughs> Knight of Wands, I do see um, more wands. But I do see you. And you're showing up as every knight. Every knight and every king, dude. You know what? I feel like you'll get to Emperor mode when you get to this mode, right? That's, that's where you're at. Like, you are taking the fucking steps to get there, man. You're like, uh, you're right there. Um, Knight of Wands, this is like a message of truth, right? This is like, finally, look at it. Dress like a motherfucking pimp. Look at that. Dressed almost like the Page of Wands, right? But like, <laughs> dude, you look great. You look fantastic. Um, she's gonna notice that. She's like, oh, you want to give me this cup? Sure, I'll take it. I'll take your cup. Um, I'll fill it up. Uh, <laughs> that's so cute. And, and look, the little lion. <laughs> the little lion head. Do, do, do. The caduceus. I don't know if you can see it. It's like very blurry. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, bro. That's healing. The caduceus is a symbol of healing, right? And strength strength and healing this is going to be a very healing connection for you this is going to restore things oh my gosh look he looks he looks kind of like that knight doesn't he kind of dressed a little similar mm -hmm. yeah that's what i thought what i thought <laughs> okay um okay so it looks like you're gonna have what you're gonna have. It's like you just were really patient and like, it's like, 
you had your fucking mind set on this person and you didn't want to. You like you're like, no, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't and then doors start opening and she walks away from her situation and you're like, Well, maybe I can <laughs> Maybe I can, right? Um, so Got another three. Three, three, three. Three of swords. I feel like somebody here is a little heartbroken. They're feeling like just a little like emotionally like fucked. Like, that's my person. Why can't I have them? <laughs> uh, two pentacles. Um, making a decision on this. Like weighing the pros and cons, right? Four of pentacles. So this is like that kingpin energy right it's it goes back to that king of pentacles this is you kind of like it kind of reminds me of that knight of pentacles holding on to that offer right and i feel like you're just focused on work right like in before before you reach your happiness before you reach like all that this is what triggers it. It's like you're just like emotionally like feeling like fuck <laughs> and you're like, you know what, I'll just focus on work, I'll just take care of myself. But you're still in this decisive energy. Or indecisive energy, I guess. Um Okay. It's like you go so back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Eight of Wands, it's going to work out no matter what. This is, this is collaboration. This is like co-creation. This is making shit happen, you know? Uh, you might talk to your friends about this, like on the low, low. <laughs> you might be like, bro, 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 <laughs> I got a, got a situation. <laughs> um, well, let's pull some oracles for you. This is. Very cute. Um, it looks like you will inevitably feel fantastic, right? Feel just like a child. Um, yeah, dude. It's it's inevitable, man. Can't escape the fate. I'm learning that fate is something I can't escape. That's the lyrics, or I think it is, right? Ah, oh, man, it's such a good song. Uh, I'm not a vampire, but I feel like one. Burr, burr. Alright, let's see it. A moment in reverse. This kind of ties into that hermit in reverse. It's like you've had enough time alone. You've had enough time of introspection. You've had enough time of, you know, and, and man, solitude can be addictive. I get that, but I feel like you're kind of like ready, you know, you're ready for your next chapter. You're like, I've been doing this so long. It's kind of feeling redundant. <laughs> it's feeling like you know, it sucks. It's it's almost like that vibe of being like the third party, right? And in like your friends, you know, your friends will go on or will bring their girlfriend or boyfriend around and then you're just kind of stuck being like that third wheel. And then, you know, like I feel like you just, you know, you want that connection. You want that intimacy. You want something that's like real and sustainable and like, uh, um... Times arrow. Um, I feel like this is like telling you to be con conscious, conscious of time. Um, be conscious of time because if you, enough time lapses, 
you know, like, you could potentially miss an opportunity, you know? <clears throat> um, so, like, be mindful of your time. Uh, destroy an angel. <laughs> All right. Somebody. I almost feel like this is your Queen of Pentacles. Um, and why I feel that way is because it looks like she's had some demons to fight herself, right? And like things that were sent to destroy her, but she was never destroyed. She destroyed those things that were sent to destroy her. <laughs> um, alright, what's some advice? Okay, um, so a rare bloom in reverse came out. I hate when that one comes out in reverse, honestly. Um, but I think what it's really saying here is, um, don't conform. You know, you might... You might find yourself in situations where it might be easy to conform or, you know, whatever. Um, don't conform. Um, because it's like those aspects of you that are different that I think really bring this person out. Um, <laughs> you know, really bring that spark out. Um, maybe you've never met somebody so rare, you know, and you feel like you've let go of a rare bloom. Um, <clears throat> Somebody ain't letting go. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I, I I do feel like this this is a uh, quite the journey, man. Um, my best recommendation to you, um, because I do see you showing up as every knight, and I do see you showing up as every king. So, my advice to you, show up as a friend first, you know, show up as a friend first, um, discover them, like, be in the energy of discovery, don't be so, like, I wouldn't say it like, oh, how would I say this, like, don't jump the gun on being like, let's let's just get together and get married next week, you kind of, you know, like, don't be so rushy about it, right, because the thing about, um, the thing about real connections, real deep, meaningful connections is they should start as friends, or, like, at least with courtship, or, like, you know, an area of, or a time frame of discovery where you actually really get to know them, get to know their love language, get to know their communication styles, get to know their quirks, you know, you want to know all the things, um, before you, you, like, move in on it, because I do see that you inevitably will, but you want to build up trust and rapport with them, because I feel like after what she's coming out of, she's gonna need that, um, or he or whatever, I really feel like I am talking to a male, though. <laughs> I feel like, and I never feel that strongly about it. Um, or at least somebody who identifies as such. Um, I just can't unsee it, you know? <laughs> I can't unsee it. Uh, <laughs> so, um... Yeah, dude. <laughs> I, I just, I really feel that. Uh, this is a very specific, a very personal message for somebody. Uh, so <laughs> I'm gonna make sure that's noted on the thing. Um, but yeah, this is, this is kind of hilarious. So, um, 
yeah anyway <laughs> namaste i love you guys um you guys are great this is <laughs> get out of your head and into your soul man <laughs> all right uh yeah i will talk to you later have a great one <laughs>